Tony Flowers from Hansworth emailed this question. I'm reading this. Tony show. Flowers? Tony Flowers from Hansworth. Do you know Is that a made-up name? I don't know. It just says it here. What does he Look, say? Tony, he says, do you think my name is made up? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously worrying him. Um, he says, Do you have, did you have any affinity with Midlands bands like The Specials or Steel Pulse or even Slade or Ozzy? Um, yeah, I played, um, I used to have Hansworth Revolution um, right, right. and I used to play all the time. Uh, Prodigal and Sound System. And um, I used to like Slade, I loved Noddy Holder. I saw them once, I saw them live and it was just, you know, I mean, Noddy Holder is li singing live with no, in if he had in ears, his brains would explode. <laughs> um, so he, phenomenal. And the move, I, I, I saw Roy Wood and the move. Frank Bear, we're really getting through the- That's the a question. made up name. <laughs> Frank Bear, was he in The Revenant? Oh. oh. Frank. <laughs> Sorry. You see? You Easy Frank, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, mate. Three time murderer recently released, Frank Bear. <laughs> Frank, do you, apart from a great name, do you have a question for Lenny? So what, what do you think of hip-hop? Um, well, because we, it was invented by Cool Herc, DJ Cool Herc, who's Jamaican. That's so, right, yeah. And um, I remember, I grew up with two turntables and a microphone in my house. You come home from school and all the furniture's missing. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Mum? And, and, and what happened, we used to happen at our houses. My mum would have these blue, it always coincided with the rent, by the way. Uh, and um, the rent was due, so all the furniture would be upstairs in my room. And then these men would arrive, all right, Len, well, help me with this. And these speakers came in that were like the size of, your, of the, a wardrobe. And they'd go one side of the front room, another side of the front room. Then down there, my mum would be cooking this. Why are you cooking so much curry goat and rice? Shut your mouth, come out. <laughs> cook, she'd cook like these vats of curry goat and rice. And, um, and there'd be paper plates, and the kids would have baby sham, but the grown-ups would have hard liquor. And, um, <laughs> and then you, they'd get the warnings out of the car from last year out, and, <laughs> because you could never get rid of that in one go. You put it up. <laughs> Somebody would drink it. Put the warnings out of the car out as well. And so the curry goat and rice, um, there'd be hard food as well. There'd be hard food as well. Hard food. Yeah, hard food. <laughs> It'd be dumpling and, and green banana and the, the cho-cho and the yam. So they put that out as well. So it'd be a decent, you know, and people would pay to come in. <laughs> Why are we charging people to come in our house? <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Move out the way. And put the baby sham down. Drink the warnings out of the car because nobody's drinking that. <laughs> and, and there'd be a dance in our house. And a dance is like a man standing behind and he would just start, yeah, it start freestyling, and improvising, he would say things. And it, was, and it was, some of it would be in rhyme, and some of it would just be, yeah, I need another beer, be sham. Be, <laughs> but it, so, so when I saw, when I saw a guy behind two turntables, it, it didn't, it wasn't a thing for me. I just went, oh great, that's, that's, that, that's going out into the world now. People are doing that. And remember Jamaicans had sound systems for years, you yeah. know, Saxon and things like that. So we knew about this. And it was just, they were, they were doing it with different music, so they'd be taking bits of other records. You know, they'd be rapping over Apache, for God's sakes. Yeah. Apache, isn't that, is that, that's, is that, dun, dun, no, dun, dun, there was, there was dun, the dun, incredible bongo band, the incredible different bongo version. Band. It wasn't actually Hank. No, so, the, so young kids in Brooklyn and Bronx and Queens rapping party rhymes over the shadows. And, and also the funky drummer. And what they're doing is they're extending the funky drummer by playing two versions of it. And they get to the end of the, f the break that they like, and then they play the, next, the same break again. And they do it over and over again because the kids like dancing to that. And I really identified with it. I thought, I I've grown up around DJs and MCs. I know what they're doing. But I didn't know that kids were making up these rhymes and had these, and they, they come from, um, it's a kind of, the rhyming thing is a pimp thing, you know. All those rhymes about being the Mac and being the man, being the man and I can do this to your mama all night long and all that stuff. That's sort of the Mac, that's pimping mm. talk. And it just, these kids would do it. I said a hip, a hip, it, all, that is, all that is slightly pimp stuff. And then, um, and then Eminem came along and made millions from him. It's weird though. <laughs> what did so he have? There's all these kids going, where's my money at? <laughs> 
As soon as Eminem comes along, say, hey, throw money at that guy. He's Ooh. great. He's, for some reason, he is attractive to me. Um, <laughs> On a personal, this this that is, kid looks like me. I'm gonna buy all his records forever and ever. Amen. 